In this video, I will be making some changes to the security camera code such as remembering what camera you were on when you close the cameras and adding this UI so the buttons aren't just a boring grid. To start, import your map. I do have one that you can download below if you are using the FNAF1 map layout. Next, open up your security camera widget, this needs to be replaced with the map, search in your palette for the image, drag it to your canvas and it is important that you make sure the Z order is above most of the UI, I put it at 2, I also anchor it to the bottom corner. I make sure the map's image size is similar aspect to the image size it is supposed to be. Take time to clean up all your text UI and position of your map to be on the screen. Select all your buttons and drag them out of your grid panel or vertical box and place them in the canvas panel. You don't need the grid now. You don't need all these buttons, just keep one camera button and delete the rest. Drag camera 1 and place it over the location it needs to be. The button is currently behind the map, change the Z order to a number above the image like 3. Scale the button and change the color and opacity so the button is invisible. Only do this if you have the buttons already on the image. For easy development, I make the opacity a bit visible so I can copy and paste the buttons. I get the second button and just place it over. Do it in the correct order so it is easier for you to manage in the future. Finally once you placed all your buttons and changed opacity to hidden again, we can continue. Don't forget to update the buttons with the right digits too. Anything like 1A and 1B are two separate digits so it would be 1 and 2. Same with the rest. Next select all the buttons and anchor them to the bottom corners so the buttons don't leave its position. You may have to test the game to see if the buttons moved from its position. Once that is done go to your actual map and make sure that you update your current cameras to be in the right location. It is better to do that when planning and designing your security map art. I added and renamed the cameras. I can go to my player in the map and update the camera array variable. I removed all the old elements, I slowly redid the new ones back into the array. Remember, this has to match up with the order you put those buttons. Test the game to see if it currently works. The map is now updated but I also want to clean up a lot of the security camera code. And then I also had to delete the highlighting code as the new system doesn't allow for it since the button is invisible. Next go to the player widget, I am going to start replacing this camera switch code from the branch. Open up your player interface that you created ages ago, you could also just use casting if you wanted. We should already have certain functions like set in camera mode and get camera array. I will organize this as it is getting big. You can add categories in the details section and then drag the other functions in there. We do need a new function called get current camera index. Which has an integer output called index. Organize it and compile and save. Open up your player class to make changes to these functions. First our new function for index. Make a new integer variable, our player will remember what camera we were on when we closed the cameras. Stick it on your return node. Compile and make sure your other functions still have code in them, those stay the same. Go to your set in camera mode code, this is where we add the new changes. It is similar to before so add a branch first. We can get our camera mode variable to check if we are in our security cameras. I will be going back and forth to see what needs to be updated. Now for our code, we are going to swap the true and false since we are setting the values here. On true we are opening our security cameras so first, get your security monitor reference and call the pull animation. I made this a few videos back. Connect to true and tick the play checkbox. Next add a short delay. We can get our camera array, call the get node. The index will be our new variable that we created. From the get, call the switch to camera event. I don't know why I added the camera mode to true here since I already do it at the start of the code. Get your player widget reference and get your security camera widget. 
set the visibility to visible. From the security camera, also get your room name text and we also call the set text. Drag out a camera array and use a get and put in your current camera index. From the get, drag out name and connect to your set text. That's true done, we need to do false. Get your player controller and call the set view target with blend. Our new view will be self, or use get player pawn because I am still mindlessly following the old code. I did it here too with the set camera mode. Next, I can just copy the set visible security camera and bring to the bottom. I set it to hidden here. Next add a delay. I also copied that play animation code and I did not tick the play button. Compile and save. Reopen your player widget and we need to replace the code here. Delete the code after the branch and the branch itself. I deleted the print string too, I just connected it to the get camera mode. I get a not boolean and also set camera mode. I connect these nodes up. This will flip flop between on and off. That's this replacement done, we just need to set our current camera index. Go to your camera button widget and find the on clicked. After the is valid, I get player pawn and I forgot to make a set current camera index. Go to your player interface and make the function. Give it an integer input this time as we are setting the value. Compile and go to your player class. Implement your new interface and all you need to add is a set current index variable. Compile and save. Go to your camera button again and from your player pawn, set the current camera index. The value will be our calculation from here, drag from the subtract node and connect to the index input. We can compile and save and that is all. You can test the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.